Have you ever been amazed by the beauty of the fables? Well, did you know that this biome has such an incredible levels of biodiversity? Also, are you a keen birder? Do you know what factors determines the sunbird and sugarbird distributions in fables? If your answer is no, then come along with me to discover and explore some mind-blowing facts about fables. There's over 9,000 plant species growing in this biome, with 70% of them are endemic. The main plant family consists of ericas, proteas, restios, and geophytes. So, what are the drivers of this explosive species diversity in fables? There's four main factors that I'm going to share with you. Number one, a wide range of microhabitats available. For example, rocky outcrops, shaded areas, slope aspects, sandy soils, topography, and altitude gives variation in sunlight, moisture, soil depth, and nutrient availability that allows for niche specialization. Number two, Nutrient poor and acidic soils forces plants to adapt in unique ways to assist the nutrient intakes and this contributes to reducing competitors and encourages speciation. Number three, frequent occurrence of fire promotes regeneration and creates different stages of plant succession. Number four, pollination specialization. Many plants have unique adaptations and relationship with specific pollinators such as birds and insects, promoting diversity. Now, let's have a closer look on this topic. Ericas and proteas are well adapted to bird pollination, particularly by nectar feeding birds such as sunbirds and sugar birds. Those adaptations include brightly colored and tubular shaped flowers, firm stems allowing birds to perch, and large quantities of sugary nectar is provided. Although, the flower structure isn't the only factor that attracts or repels sunbirds and sugarbirds' population. The state of succession of the biome also determines their distribution. Sunbirds occur more in a younger felt at early stage of succession when ericas and geophytes are abundant. In the later stage of succession, when the protea starts to grow, Sugarbird takes over and dominates the area. This phenomenon is called as the colonizing competition trade off, where the sugarbirds, who only came into the fold at the later stage of ecological succession, outcompete the sunbirds who were living there first. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and when you go out in the field, watch your steps for ticks and papadas.